So we're gonna let all the civilians know we got a cop up here. All right, folks, I don't know if I'm knowing the truth and we've got an extortionist sitting over here. We just want to give him a little confrontation. Find out why he's trying to exploit money. Um, as I always say, this is the part that I hate the most. Drops on a 55 right into a 30, and he's actually out. The first marker, not the second or third marker. So we're gonna give him a little discussion there and see what the hell he's doing, okay? Just Tyrone from Knowing the Truth. What's up, folks? Beautiful day. Upstate New York. Excuse me, Mr. Extortionist. Name and badge number. Braden, 153. You realize that that's a 30. There's a 55 marker right there. A 30. How far are you away from that? I have no idea. Is it 500 feet? You know the state statute. Do you know the state statute as far as sitting here extorting money from society, you scumbag? Just sitting here doing paperwork. Hey, sir. scumbag, you're not doing paperwork. I'm watching you. It's on film. That's fine. You're not doing paperwork. You're a liar, of course, which you can by law. Sure. But I need you to not. Slow down, cop. Slow down, pig. Oink, oink, pig. Oink, oink, extorting money. I'm not afraid, sir. You have no idea I'm not afraid. I know you think I am. I'm not afraid. You have no idea. No idea what I've done in my lifetime. Trust me. That's fine. No idea. That's good. Alrighty. Let's get moving, scumbag. Okay. Enjoy get to work. Go do some paperwork. Stop right extorting here. money from the society, right scumbag. Here, scumbag. All right, folks, we got a scumbag right here. Look at him. Doesn't want to move. Wants to sit here and extort money. Instead of solving crimes where there's victims, he's going to sit here and extort money from people for victimless crimes. And you know this guy speeds, and he's sitting here in an area that... Let me tell you something. Let me show you something, folks. All right, so this is about 30 miles an hour, and I don't know how many feet, maybe 1,000 feet of 30 miles an hour. And then look, I want you to see the sign right here. You see that sign right there? All right, 55. I'm going to walk up, and I'm going to show you the sign coming back, okay? Now, there's certain laws that say you cannot write a ticket. I wonder if people know that. You cannot write a ticket. Ravina, New York. Queemans, New York. All the countries that are watching my videos, all the thousands of people that watch my video, thousands and thousands and thousands. I want you to know something. There are certain laws that stipulate that these people cannot pull you over. And that means that if I'm correct in New York, do you understand? Houston v. Hill. Houston v. Hill. Look it up. Yeah, Glick v. Cunniff. Glick v. Cunniff, scumbag. Right here, folks. I am going to sit here until this guy moves because I am tired of these people taking money off of our plates when it doesn't change anything. Let me explain something to you. Speeding in the United States of America has not been impacted by ticket writing. All right? It is just revenue generation. It's not to provide a service to the community. I guarantee you that. Now, there are certain cases I'm sure people are flying by. Maybe they put up some. But I'm telling you something. 99% of the time, they're just taking money out of your pockets. Off your table, from your kids, all right? Then they go home and beat their wives, sleep with their partner's wives, look at kitty porn. Did you know the numbers are crazy? 43.8% higher to be killed by a police officer in the United States of America than a terrorist. Yeah. Eight times more likely than another American citizen. These guys are the terrorists. The numbers, sociology, it doesn't lie. Yeah, and I went to RCS here, everybody. I was president of my class. What'd you do? I went to college at St. Rose. What'd you do, buddy? What'd you do with your life? Except for take money from people because you got, you know, small, you know, you got low self-esteem, let's say. Let's just put it that way. You got low self-esteem with a big ego. So he's got to prove himself to society and think he's important because he's a police officer, which, by the way, I am not impressed. Some people are intimidated. I'm not. So we will sit here and watch this scumbag all night long. Right here, folks. I hate this. This is why I get angry. Extortion. And it's legal. Sanctioned by the government. And these guys can break the law. They can lie to you. They can steal from you. They can kill you by law. Even if you haven't committed a crime, just if you happen to walk away, you're, or they want to make up some bullshit thing about how they feel afraid. All right, let me explain something. Their job is bullshit. They, are, they do not have a difficult job. 
Okay, you guys know that I've been hired as an Albany, New York police officer. You guys know that I've worked for the Colony, New York police department. You guys know that I'm, an attorney, that I'm a successful attorney. You know me. All right, 150 people a year, and that was the highest it made. It's down to like 110. Half of them die on the way to the scene because they cause accidents because of their egos. They love hitting that siren. Oh, I'm a cop. And they cause accident and cause damage, property damage, and lives on the way to scenes. Do they get in trouble? No. Yeah, because they've got that qualified immunity. Did you give me your name and badge number, officer? See, when they don't give your name and badge number, the qualified immunity goes out the window. All right? In a court of law, they have to give you their name and badge number. If they want to arrest you, they want to do anything to you, when they refuse, you can then win in a court of law like you guys have seen me do. Oh, there he goes. Bye-bye, driver. Shame, scumbag. I'm not afraid, scumbag. Yeah, fuck you, scumbag. Yeah, stop extorting money from society, scumbag. Bye-bye, scumbag. And there he goes. Drive of shame. All right, stay. If you're in somewhere, stay there, because he's driving up that way just because he got pissed off at me. He didn't say anything. No big deal. Just stay where we are. And don't move the car. Where are you, by the way? Oh, no, that's good. I want you to be out of the town, so I think you're off the town, town line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, good, 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 good. All right, cool. Oh, even better. Even better. Because he's driving real slow looking for you. He might not be looking for you. He's driving a little slow looking at me is what he's doing. Perfect. He just turned right. He just turned right. So I'm going to... Yeah, yeah. He just turned back. He's going to turn back around. So you're good. Just stay there, okay? I'll be right there. All right. Bye. Love you, Bye. So we're going to let these people know as we walk up and see if we can get this cop to slow down. Because there's a cop up here. He might be coming back up along this road. I don't know if you can see that. So we're going to go back and make sure that he doesn't come there. He's backing up. He's literally backing up out of the prairie, away from me. Illegally backing up on a road. He just committed a traffic violation. He just committed a traffic violation. On camera. On camera, folks. Let's see if he's gonna hit me with his dog. You just committed a traffic violation, scumbag. On camera. On camera! You just committed a violation! 